the heck? Good morning, everybody. Hey, time is running out. You can't make this stuff up. It's crazy. Okay, I went to, uh, I think this is Cape Northwest Camera. The skies were bugging me out a little bit. And so I said, there's spaceships in these skies. I'm looking for Nibiru. I'm looking for the big blue. And I'm looking for Nemesis. And I did find it. But watch what I also else I found that will blow your mind. It's like spaceships, saucers. Cloud ships, Nibiru, dark moons, light moons, saucers are all over the place. Watch this. They say you can access the night, right? By hiding in the clouds, and simulators, and sun simulators. And I say access not denied, guys. So I use the filters. Look at this. See those two planets side by side? That is not the sky dipping in. The sky doesn't dip in and move out. Look at that, look at that. Incredible, right? Check it out. I tell you, and I'm just starting this video, it's gonna get crazy. So hang on to your seats, get your coffee, and get your tea. So as you can see, it moves to the right. Watch what happens, I'm gonna freeze it. Check this out, see right there? One, and there's a planet right behind it, I believe. Now I think they're both pretty big, so hold on to your seats. You got your tea, you got your coffee. All right, gonna keep going. It's gonna get freaky. Any children in the room, you might wanna put them out. Some of this I think is good for your children to watch. So keep watching. Uh, your child old enough, let them watch it. Go on, explain what it is. Don't let them just watch it and get scared. Okay, let's keep watching. I got more footage. It's just Thank you. 
here, but I need the atmosphere set up for the rest of this video, guys. It's going to get strange, and um, just hang in there with me. Leave a comment. Share this video on Facebook or Twitter, and I'm going to add some more atmosphere to the music and all that. Anyways, it's going to get strange. That's why I got the strange music. Get ready. You see that EMI sky? I did not do any filtering on that at all. That's just what I caught from the camera. All these, all these captures right here are from the same area on August 19th, on the same day, same time period, within about three to 500 miles away. So here we go. Okay, I'm trying again. I just threw away three narrations because my computer's starting to echo. I don't know why it echoes. Anyways, if you guys want to tip me, that's fine. There's a PayPal button at the end. I'm trying to buy a new, new computer. Got my office all set up, and I'm going to keep doing this if I have a new computer or not. If it takes me two days to put a video, oh well. Anyways, I'm not going to make junk videos no more. I'm just going to try to give out nice information, clear views, time lapse, and filtered like I do. I'm not going to quit doing the filter because some people don't like it. Or they want to debunk me. Go ahead, debunk me. I don't care. I'm not trying to bunk nothing. <laughs> Anyways, my whole purpose of doing this is to tell you about Jesus. So if you come and try to debunk me and I tell you that Jesus loves you, whatever troll or whatever minion you are, <clears throat> I will be glad to have you here trying to debunk me because I ain't done nothing wrong. I ain't filtered nothing. I mean, I ain't photoshopped anything. If you could prove it, make a channel on it and prove it. I don't care. Make a channel on my videos and put them up and show me how you debunk them. And then go ahead and advertise it to the whole world that you debunk C. Fernal's channel. And what you're going to do is drive about 20,000 people a day to my site. So you're welcome to debunk me and go tell the world how you debunk me. Because I could prove it throughout my films when I filter. I've never done anything Photoshop. So anyways, enough of that griping and ranting. All you trolls are welcome. Uh, thumbs up instead of thumbs down. You keep coming back. The same 7 to 10 people thumbs down. So why don't you just repent for being stupid. And uh, enjoy the movie and put a thumbs up if the movie's good. I don't care if you believe in the bureau. Put a thumbs up. All right? Put a thumbs up. Come on, guys. You're watching the movies for free. You know, so if you want to debunk something that's real, sorry. That's a problem for you. You're wasting your time, not mine. Now, you could ask anybody. That's the hardest I've ever been on trolls in my whole one year of success on the Internet. Anyways, um, I love the way people can see everything so clear and they just don't see it. But that's okay because... Some people, when your mind's in deception, they don't know their mind is in deception. I mean, their mind can't grasp what they see. Deception means you've been deceived into believing one way, which I call normalization. Otherwise, everything's going to be okay. The world is not falling apart. The sky is not falling. That's normalization. We're going to go to our jobs, our two to three jobs a week. We're going to make enough money to pay the man or uh, the Fed. And we're going to pay our taxes, and everything's just, you know, hard the way it is, unless you were born into money. And that's the way it is. Okay, back to the film. Anyways, you guys that are debunking me, thank you, and thank you for all the free advertisement. You're a blessing to see for an all channel. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for debunking my channel. All right, enough of that griping again. <laughs> There's that red planet, guys. There's that red planet. Check it out. Okay, I'm going to show you this little source of light that comes out from that ring from the planet being behind the sun, that looks like. Um, not right there, but watch, watch. I'm going to zoom in on it. Hang on. Here we go. See, I'll point it out right there. It's coming. See, I'm lowering it right there. I don't see it no more. It's something huge right there. You can see it, right, guys? Wait till you see the filter on that. It's going to blow your mind. Right there. See that light source kind of rainbowy looking? How there's a dark planet, or that's the whole ring. From the planet behind the sun sim or whatever that sun is, whatever that sun is. You see this right here? At first I was thinking, oh no. Hang on. Now who who made the rules up that all the planets have to follow beside the sun? I know you guys have been researching this for 20 years, but if they're retro orbiting, which is opposite of what we orbit, and the moons of their planets go way out, let's say away from the earth on the other side and we see it on the east side and at 10 o'clock in the morning or we see it on the south side um 
at six o'clock in the morning, we see a red one, we see a striped one, we see a pitted crater moon. What's the difference, guys? I mean, are you stuck on your teaching of someone that thinks they know what they were talking about because they looked to a telescope? But what if I show you pictures of full-blown planets in a couple of days to come? I mean, I didn't believe in UFOs, and I'm seeing UFOs. So I believe there's UFOs. I believe that America has their own space force with Russia. I see these diamond-shaped, triangle-shaped planets, or not planets, but spaceships or whatever they are. I see the smoke coming out of the back of them. I didn't believe none of this stuff. So if you don't believe in this, it's fine. But what I'm showing you is pictures, not trying to say this is only Nemesis, this is only Nibiru. Believe it or not, I have to use those words if I'm showing pictures of Nibiru in the sky to get people that believe in Nibiru to come check out what might be Nibiru. So I'm not saying for a fact that striped planet or that planet is a two. I'm just putting a name on it that I think it might be. So have a little grace for me. Have a little leeway. You know, check this out. I'm filtering now, guys. Anyway, so just have a little grace. I'm, I'm learning as I'm going, and I'm showing just what I see, guys. I'm not faking it or anything. So check it out. Keep watching. So at first, I thought this, uh, this red dot here was a reflection only. But then as I watched it, it didn't really move the way reflections off the sun sim or the sun just throws sun dogs out. It became very apparent that that blue object, I mean, that red object right there is wormwood. Could be Nemesis, the dark dwarf star. It could be a lot of things. I know these spaceships in the clouds are very real, guys. Hang on. Now you hear my uh, dragon music behind. That's kind of freaky. It kind of freaked me out when I made that music, guys. Here's what the scripture says that's actually going on right now. False Christ shall come. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that you be not of trouble. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and various places. All these things are the, just the signs of sorrows, guys. And that's what's happening right now worldwide. So I'm here telling you, look at my pictures about Nibiru. I'm also saying you need to meet Jesus. And he's the only way, the only truth, and the only life. Yeah, this is like bait and switch. I call this channel stink bait channel. Because so many people have been watching Nibiru for 20 years and afraid out of their socks. Jesus says, be not afraid. You know why? Because he expects you to meet him. In him, there is no, I'm telling you, this don't exist. And even if you died in a tsunami... You're with Jesus. You're alive. You're with me. That's my rant raving and preaching right there, guys. And I do want to say this one thing to you guys out there. Thank you for coming to my channel. I'm not trying to torture you with Jesus at all. And uh, yes, you can mix religion with Revelation 8, Revelation 6, the seals, Revelation 8, and Revelation 12 saying the signs here. So I'm just here. If I get one person to believe in Jesus... Not in a barrow, but to believe that there is a Jesus that's still alive that can heal them, fill them, and help them, protect them. Then I'm going to keep doing my job, guys. And so keep watching the videos. I'm going to show you some UFOs.
so there you go, folks. Some UFOs. Uh, Blue Pachina. Oh, no, that's uh, whatever planet's in the left corner there, a blue planet. Um, I don't remember the name, Nepicity, or it's not Saru, I don't think, not, not Saru, but um, it's not Atu. But you can see right there, there's something in that cloud. You can also see the left there, there's definitely Blue Pachina, or the planet. And then that little rainbow that comes out on the bottom there. So, But the unique part was the UFOs, how I'm finding UFOs. I must have found 50 of them yesterday, hunting around. There's a lot of stuff going on in these guys. You know, guys, you can always slow it down. Turn the music off and really study it, you know? So look at right there. They're trying to cloak the sun, the stars, the shadows of the clouds, but they can't cloak it too easy. Look at that. That one's obvious. I don't have to do nothing. This is crazy. The skies are crazy. You got Jesus. I mean, got Jesus in your heart. Got Jesus in your bones. Is the fire of God in your bones? Because you're going to need it in the days to come, guys. This is crazy footage. And I just wanted to bless you with it. I don't want to scare you. So God bless and have a good night. Uh, took me almost 40 hours to build this video, so enjoy it, and thumbs up, and subscribe. God bless. If you want to leave me a tip or love offering, don't leave me your tithes and offerings. I don't want that. Just go ahead and click on the PayPal button, 5, 10, 100, 20s, 50s. I take them all. Anyways, it's all going towards a computer, and um, and I've only been asking for money for a computer for three months, and I've gotten about $200 right now, <clears throat> and it's been Pretty good. I'm I'm seeing the faithfulness of the people. God bless. You guys have a great day.